Okay, everyone, we're live on twitch.tv slash Sidroof. And for breaking news, because we're gonna be taking a break from our 100 hour relic, uh, 100 hour relic challenge to cover the devs short that just that just happened earlier and the announcements that got released um yes so this video is gonna be pretty unedited unedited so forgive me for my grammar but hopefully i could upload this before the dev stream tomorrow um i just wanted to remind you guys that if you watch the dev stream tomorrow with your warframe and twitch account linked you're gonna get an umbra forma for free also one of the uh announcements you could say that the the steve uh said was that some orbiter relight issues were gonna be updated because a lot of people weren't really happy with the orbiter lighting changes also uh also one of the things that got announced was the sharper lighting shadow changes okay i really don't understand what's that but according to steve that's gonna be releasing on the jade shadows also tomorrow they confirmed that they're gonna be talking about the jade shadows update the brand new warframe the main quest about the stalker I'm, I'm gonna be very excited about that i can't wait for tomorrow also steve leaked the semi-auto changes for guns this hasn't really been um confirmed yet but it looks like some changes are gonna be happening to the semi-automatic guns in warframe i mean what could they change with the semi-automatic guns i really don't know are they just gonna make it full auto then that's gonna just defeat the whole purpose of the gun i don't really know i'm very excited about that though enemy density changes for other platforms than pc according to them enemy density was actually different from platform to platform i'm very surprised about that news i haven't really heard about that in my years of playing warframe so i'm very very surprised about that they're gonna be changing that or they haven't really said that they're gonna change that but they're gonna be talking about that tomorrow so very excited about that also they're gonna be teasing some warframe 99 content about arthur about about the human mag aoe very excited about that as well i can't wait for that also they said to remind you guys that boss prime access and his accessories are gonna be leaving on may 1 so the wonderful cyandana the wonderful top line armor is gonna be leaving the store so if you guys want to cop that you guys need to do that asap here are some of the accessories that ghost prime has pretty good pretty good um what next protea prime access on may 1 she ain't safe boys she ain't safe we're gonna be grinding at that out on twitch.tv slash sidroff so don't forget to follow me there as well uh also don't forget to subscribe on this youtube channel if you want more high quality videos and one of the most important and one of the most exciting things that they said this dev short was that they were announcing kuva and tenet weapons new kuva and tenet weapons tomorrow on the dev stream i wonder which weapons they're gonna announce tomorrow pretty exciting pretty exciting as for me i really really hope that they're gonna be releasing some good uh what was that stuff there's the, there's a staff and there's a staff here there's a gun staff i i, I just forgot but there's a, there's a staff that's actually like a greenier staff it's like the ferox but it's greenier that one hopefully i think that's like my most anticipated 
Kuva weapon if that ever happens because I want more diversity, you know. But oh god, the grind is gonna be so bad again. Like, hopefully, it's just one or two Kuva, Kuva intended weapons, not like another 30. But yeah, that's gonna be it on the video. We're gonna be going back and continuing the 100 hour relic video challenge uh, on twitch.tv slash Sidro. Hopefully, I see you guys there, but just a very quick video. Peace out, boys.